14.25 meters at 55k. Looking very, very good from Windermere, Florida. Fantastic effort from Brooke Baldwin. 14.25 me meters, easy money there for her. And on the slalom dock, we've got uh, Samantha Damala. And, uh, and Samantha Damala on the slalom dock, as you can see, sitting on top of the podium. Well, that's uh, hopefully where she'll be she'll end up at least in in her mind as long as she uh, produces uh, her top game that could well be a possibility so Samantha from the dock uh, getting ready and prepared and now we will cut back to Brooke Baldwin as her tow boat boat that she likes to ski behind the Nautic 200 will be heading back into the course 13 meters should be a pretty easy pass for her all right here comes Brooke Baldwin 13 meters oh look at oh getting broken over off number two in all kinds of trouble off number two, but has enough strength and enough poise to be able to run that pass. Oy. Not looking too bad at all, uh, Brooke Baldwin, as she pulls out to short, and not very often that we see that from her off number two, but uh, uh, she recovers <laughs> enough, and uh, she even has a... Uh, a little bit of a wry smile there as she uh, she pulled out to to, uh, to shorten, and uh, and no doubt she will uh, she will try to uh, make up for that. And uh, for those of you for those of you out there uh, watching, for those of you out there watching and uh, wanting to uh, communicate with us and tell us uh, tell us what you think, here. Is Swiss Pro Slalom. Hashtag Swiss Pro Slalom. And then we'll feature the best tweets on the air. So, hashtag Swiss Pro Slalom. And tell us what you think. All right, then. Here comes Brooke Baldwin. 12 meters coming up. This is going to be 12 meters. Oh, and... Little narrow on number one, but Ma oh, a little loose off number two. That line not tightening up immediately off number two. And coming up a little short on number five, but still managing to get the ski out and uh, not looking too bad uh, on the whole. If you get round all six buoys, then it doesn't really matter. So. That is going to, that was 12 meters. And on the dock waiting for her turn is Samantha Damala. We've only got four skiers left. Uh, Samantha, uh, Manon Costard, Whitney McClintock, and Regina Jaquis. And the skier that we have on the water is Brooke Baldwin. It's going to be 11.25 meters. A pass that she knows that she has to clear now. Clementine Lucine currently holds the lead with two at 10.75 meters. That's eight buoys away. A lot of nervous faces around the dock as we see Samantha uh, trying to take advantage of the shade. We've got Manon Costard next after her. And then Whitney McClintock are going through her final stretches. But here we go. This is Brooke Baldwin. Oh, 
Oh, this is 11.25 meters. Oh, look at this. Keeping it tight on number four. Look at that turn off number five. Good effort all the way through. Great skiing there from Brooke Baldwin. So that is Brooke Baldwin, a six for count of 11.25 meters. And just like that, we now have a challenger for the lead. The lead currently two buoys at 10.75 meters, courtesy of Clementine Lucene. wonderful action out there on the water whether you're watching onshore or online we've been treated to some fantastic skiing so far and like the carpenters said we've only just begun Ten point seven five meters. More than two will give her a lead. Oh, look at that number one getting broken over into number two, and she has no option at this point but to S turn and get the two buoy count that will uh, enable her to tie with uh, with Clementine Lucene with two. 